Okay, hey, it's Coach Johns. Um, I know you, some of you guys have been wondering um, how do I screen record and um, do things like that so that I can make videos for my students um, to share information with them. Um, so I'm going to show you what I use for screen recording and uh, if you find something better that works for you, that's fine. This is, this is purely just my preference because this is what I use to stream a lot for um, games and things like that. So um, I'm going to show you a program called Streamlabs. Um, it's really, really easy by the open broadcasting uh, software. Um, so if you go in your web browser, I'll open mine right here for you. OK. And just search Streamlabs. OK. This is it right here. Streamlabs, the best free tools for live streamers and gamers. Uh, download Streamlabs OBS. Follow the prompts. Download it. Um, it's it's mostly used by the gaming community, but let's be honest, the gaming community does this better than us right now. So we might want to learn a thing or two from them. Um, but if you download Streamlabs OBS, when you open it for the first time, it is going to look something like this. Um, it won't have nearly as many options as mine does right now. A, uh, a spot for this called Tutorials. And you can also run commercials on it. So I've got an over. At RCB Bank, you are not just a number, you are our neighbor. Hi, I'm Michael McMorris. So lots of things you can do. Um, right now, what I have it set up to do, well, let's, let's go step by step. So the first thing you'll want to do is create a new source. Um, this is kind of tricky because I can't do all of it um, because then I lose the display that I'm currently getting for you. So you make a new source, call it um, teacher, okay, whatever. Uh, you hit done, and what's going to open up is this source area to your right and it'll be blank there's nothing in it and you start adding things that you want to see in it so right now i have a microphone um, it's a snowball microphone if you don't know what that is it's this just a little just a little microphone that i use um, picks up my audio pretty well if you have a webcam that that also gets audio that's fine whatever you use uh, whatever works for you there's no end all be all the way I add that snowball microphone is I go right here, add a new source. I go to audio input capture, built-in microphones, USB microphones, other USB devices. Is that showing you all this? Yes. Okay, good. Oops. Okay. Um, so I got the audio input capture, add source. I've already added this source before, so it saves it for me. But if you want to add a new source, just hit add a new source. Call it mic, add source. Then it's going to ask you for what that device is. I have a lot of audio inputs I can choose from. You probably will not have that many, just a couple. Um, and you should see your microphone. There's my microphone, Blue Snowball. Click that. Hit done. And when you do, it's going to pop up right down here. That's my microphone. As you can see, I have a, just for streaming, I have a lot of different inputs. Oh, it's double recording right now. That's not good. So there's my snowball mic. That's the one I really want. And um, so that's, that's one. Oh, because I just added this microphone. So uh, I'm going to remove that microphone by hitting the delete key. Yep. Uh, then I look down for my video capture device. Okay, this one's important because this is where my face shows up, my lovely face. Um, to do that, add a new source, video capture device, add source, add source. And if you have a webcam, you just hit in uh, webcam. I have a 4K camera that I'm using. It's just one of our cameras. So I hit add source. And then... I can um, move this out of the way so you guys can still see what I'm doing. 
do it like that. Okay, so put it over that then. Yeah, let's do this. There. There. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing at least. Um, it's frustrating. I've got a mouse that I need to get rid of. All right. Um, so here's where you select your display. Um, I've got this display selected. I'm already using this display. So if I put it up there, like it's already there. So if I hit done, well, I've already got that. So I can't double my display. Um, so that's the video capture. That just shows people what's on your screen. So that's how I'm showing you just like literally what is on my screen right now. Ooh. No, that's the wrong thing. That is the wrong thing. Undo <laughs> this one. Display capture. So sorry, the dis so yeah, the video capture device is how I put in my my, my uh, camera. Um, and all I did was add a video capture device. So display captures the screen. So let's remove this one. Video capture device is your camera. And then snowball is my microphone. Um, and so it just goes like that, adding devices that you want to have on here. If you want to add text to your screen, you can add text. Um, I, I said something to a friend of mine about overlays, adding overlays, um, images, and overlay is something like, let me show you this. Add a new source, uh, image, and that's it. These are all the image um, options you can use, PNG, JPEG, GIF, BMP. Um, you can add a window capture. That's just your web browser. If you just want the web browser and not your entire screen, you can do that. Um, then they have different devices that you can put in here. It gets, it gets pretty involved, but this is the basics of what you need. Um, then there are a couple of options I want to show you here too. So, option number one is you can uh, live stream from Streamlabs by going right down here at the bottom to this go live button. Okay, that go live button will take you live to um, YouTube or Facebook or whatever you set, Twitch, whatever you set it to be. Then there's this record button. That's the one I'm using right now. That's the one I encourage you to use for your class so that um, you can try it a couple of times, make sure you get the recording exactly right, uh, and then upload it. So that's the record button. The other thing I need you to look at is this. This is, so if you're streaming, you set your stream server. Okay, you can set a custom stream server. Hit URL, stream key. Um, so like if you're streaming to YouTube, those are going to be options that you that you go through in YouTube Live when you upload. Um, but if you're just recording, you want to set your record path. That tells your videos where you want to put them in in your local computer. Um, I would request recording, and I would I would suggest recording in high quality, medium file size, um, and I would also suggest your recording format be MP4. Uh, that's going to be readable on most. Um, computers. That way you don't have a problem of somebody on a Mac not being able to view your video or somebody on a PC not being able to view your Mac video in QuickTime. Okay, um, And that is about it. The last couple of things would be if you're not able to see your image, 
Um, it could have something to do with the way that you're outputting your image. So like I'm broadcasting this in 1280 by 720 um, because I've had issues with my 4K camera. I would love to do it in 1920 by 1080, but the camera has issues that it doesn't like me to do that. So that's why I'm in 1280 by 720. If you're having issues, make sure you know what setting your camera is, and then you can adjust these settings as well. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, as usual, my email address is in the comments below or in the, in the description below. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Let me know how I can help. Um, but that is Streamlabs OBS. I'm sure there are other tutorial videos out there. I just wanted to put something together real quick for my Claremore public school teachers to have a friendly face attached to something that they know that has a, an email address that they can contact as well. So um, you guys can do this. Like I said, let me know if you have questions. Have a great day. Go Zebras.